Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. I call to order meeting number 105 to each one of you, particularly all the visitors to our club. Toastmasters, as you probably know, is a forum where you learn and practice the art of public speaking. There are many Toastmasters clubs around the world, and this particular club, the Bangalore Toastmasters Club, is the second oldest Toastmasters Club in the country and perhaps the biggest of its kind in India as well. If you would like to know how to join a club or if you want information about Toastmasters, you can get in touch with our VP membership, Toastmaster Melvin, during the break. Melvin, can you just stand up for a moment? That's Toastmaster Melvin. Guests, before we proceed, we'd like to know about you. Would you like to introduce yourself? Just tell us your name and what you do. Shall we start with you? Yes. Leading Toastmasters. My name is Robert. Nothing but the truth this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Members, how do we welcome our guests? <laughs> the theme this evening, you're defined by what comes out of your mouth than by what goes in, points to the importance of, of what we speak. The words that we choose, the comments that we make, the thoughts that we express, we need to be careful about this. Now, I had complete conviction about on this saying till November 9th. November 9th changed my conviction on this particular adage. Do you know why? What happened on November 9th? Demonetization. Okay, what else? What else happened on November 9th? Speak aloud. Donald Trump got elected. Now, after having said all kinds of rubbish about human beings, about women, about minorities, about environment, about everything, he still got elected to the world's most powerful office. Now, would you believe this, Maxim, after that? <laughs> well, he might have got away, but in general, you can't get away by speaking rubbish. I had this professor of mine in college. When I joined college, he joined, he was relatively new. He was a bit of a greenhorn. And he was teaching us Indian economy. Now, in the very first class, we knew he was out of depth on the subject. So he wanted to kind of prove that he's well read. So one day he said, boys, I've read every book on Indian economy. So boys asked, every book? So one of them asked, sir, have you read Indian economy by Simon and Garfunkel? <laughs> <laughs> and this man says, of course, yes. <laughs> and the entire class burst into laughter and poor fellow, he didn't know what hit him. You've got to be, if you're not sure of something, don't say it. You've got to be careful of what comes out of your mind. Sometime back, there was this man who had lost all hope on life. He lost his job. His savings was completely depleted. His wife left him. He thought he'll kill himself. And while he was contemplating suicide, he saw this advertisement about the support group. So he said, let me just walk into this meeting and find out what's happening. And there he met similar people who were drowning their sorrows there. And after he spoke about his woes, the person sitting next to him was a 19-year-old boy. And when he began to speak, he started with a smile. And he said, I've been diagnosed with terminal cancer. My doctor says I will live for three to six months. I've been agonizing over this for about a month. And now I'm here because I have decided to live. I want to celebrate life. When this man who was contemplating suicide saw this, he was amazed. He said, look at this guy. He's got so much more than what I have. I can live, but look at him. And look at his approach to life. He left with this conviction that he needs to undo and rebuild his life. Words can do a lot. In this particular man's case, it was just the story and the sentence 
that I want to do something with my life. Those words captured his imagination and he wanted to rebuild his life. You never know what your words can do to people and therefore choose your words carefully. And you cannot have a better forum than Toastmasters to put this idea into practice. On that note, I'd like to call on stage the MC for this evening. She is a journalist. She works for Your Story. And her job involves chronicling startups and the lives of entrepreneurs. She surely, she surely knows how to choose her words. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Aparajita Chaudhary. ceremony for about three or four minutes or maybe five minutes so please bear with us we're going to induct new members to our club so over to our VP membership to our sponsor member. Uh, and of course we've got several other names as well. Now did you enjoy this meeting? Yes. Yes. Do you think it was great? Yes. yes. If you if you think it was great, you should come back and see next week, next week's meeting, because next week we finish, we complete 20 years of our club. That is no mean achievement, 20 years, and we're going to celebrate it in style. We've called it Retro Meet. You know what Retro means, right? Yes. Celebrating the veterans, the stars of yesteryears who are still around with us. So next week, all the speakers all the role takers, all the evaluators will be the dawns of our club. And you've got to be there to enjoy the moment. And after that, we will step out and, and celebrate in, in, in usual BTMC style, which is, you know what, right? Connor House, ice cream. So don't miss that, don't miss that event. And of course, the, the following day, on Saturday, as Toastmaster Makan mentioned, we've got the area counter CGI. Please do come in large numbers. So with that, before I give away the awards, I'll take another two minutes. Is there anyone here who wanted to speak but didn't get a chance to speak? Just show of hands. Please come forward. You've got to come quickly. Come, come forward. Anyone who wanted to speak, didn't get a chance to speak, come forward. 